Hey, what's poppin' everybody? We are back for some Thursday Night Football here tonight. Uh, let's go ahead and recap Sunday's slip. Uh, Sunday's slip we did uh, put a little three pick together, and it almost came through for us. Unfortunately, um, if you guys didn't watch the Ravens game or you didn't see a post on Instagram, uh, here it is right here. We go two for three. I definitely thought this was going to smack with ease, and it should have, honestly. Uh, Chris Olave has a big day as expected against that Titans defense. Tony Pollard just barely got there thanks to the fact that they blew out the the the, um, the Giants. They didn't really play him that much offense, but he did his thing. He got there, did Tony Pollard. And then Justin Tucker only hits two extra points. I really felt like the Ravens, I should have I, I should have just remembered that a lot of them didn't play in the preseason and it was just a little bit of a rust buster for them. So they didn't really score as much as I thought they would, uh, did Baltimore. And then they also, they scored three touchdowns. They did. On their second extra point attempt of the game, uh, for some reason, the Houston Texans jumped off sides on an extra point, and instead of kicking that extra point and, and letting that ride, they decided to take it to the one-yard line and go for two. So, Justin Tucker does a kick his extra point that we needed, and we missed the slip there. So, that is very unfortunate uh, there for that. So, uh, we've got a two-pick today for Thursday Night Football. Um, I don't love this matchup just because I think this one could end up being a blowout. So, um, we're just going to do two picks here, and then we will get into it. Let's get it. Real quick, if you guys are new to Underdog Fantasy, in the link down in the description below, I have a uh, link that takes you straight to the app store where you can download Underdog Fantasy because you're going to want to hop in on the action this year. Also, they have added second half lines now to games. Obviously, it is on. Uh, there is nothing up because there's no NFL second half games, but they have added NFL second half. Um, so just like for the Thursday night game, I'll throw up that clip right here. Thursday night, they dropped all the second half lines for that Thursday night game between the Bills and the Rams. They've added a bunch of new features this year. They're trying to improve to get uh, the app better for you guys. Um, also, if, when you sign up, if you use code take my shot, you'll get $100 match, uh, up to $100 match and 100% deposit match uh, on your first time deposit. So if you do that, you can deposit $50 to get another an extra $50, you know, $20 to get an extra $20. Um, whole lot of stuff coming with Underdog Fantasy this year. Make sure you sign up with code take my shot. Now let's get to today's picks. All right, so coming in hot with today's lock of the day, we are going to go ahead and take uh, the we're going to take Alexander Madison today. Uh, lower than fifty point five rushing yards today versus the Eagles defense. Uh, I think it's going to be a tough out for Alexander Madison. Uh, last week he didn't have the greatest week on the ground at Alexander Madison. He also kind of struggled on the ground last week. Uh, he got kind of carried by the fact he had a receiving touchdown last week, so it made it look a little bit better. But uh, he might be facing maybe the best front seven in football right now with this Eagles defense. I know they're a little bit banged up, but they still got a lot of a lot of guys on that front seven that are still very talented. Um, last year when the Vikings played the Eagles, Dalvin got held to just 17 yards. I think that was his season low for Dalvin, which makes a lot of sense against this defense. Uh, I also think that the game could get away from the Vikings this week. Uh, and they're just going to be forced to pass the ball to try to catch up. So I don't think he's going to get the rush attempts, and I definitely don't think he's going to hit the yards. Uh, last week against a heavy run offense in the in the New England Patriots, they held Ramon J. Stevenson to just 25 yards on 10-plus carries. So uh, still looking just as good as they were last year, the Eagles. Also on PFF, the, the Eagles had the highest graded run defense in the entire league last year, or last week. So again, the run defense for this Eagles team is still just as good as it was a year ago. And I don't think Minnesota is going to be able to get, get it cooking on the ground. And there, there's not going to be any situation, I think, where they're going to be running it more than throwing it in this game. So I like Alexander Madison to have less than 50.5 rushing yards today versus the Eagles. All right, second final play of the day. Again, not going to try to force three plays out of one game here. Uh, we're going to take A.J. Brown higher than 12.95 fantasy points today versus this Viking secondary. Last week, the wide receiver won for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, that was Mike Evans, who is not... Didn't have the greatest. I think Kirk Cousins is a lot better quarterback than Baker Mayfield, even though he just lost to him. Um, Mike Evans had 18.6 fantasy points last week, 10 targets, six yards, 66 or six receptions for 66 yards and a touchdown. I think it's going to be very similar usage for AJ Brown here today. AJ Brown last week had about 10 targets, six had, let's see, last week he had uh, 10 targets for seven catches, 79 yards, had only 11.4 fantasy points. So he fell just a little bit short, but he's got to get in the end zone. That was the difference between him and Mike Evans last week is that Mike Evans got in the end zone. Got a good feeling AJ Brown's going to get in the end zone here tonight because he did not last week. Uh, so I'm liking the, the, the matchup here for AJ Brown as well against his struggling Viking secondary. It continued to show last week that they are still kind of uh, not a great team as far as the secondary goes for this Vikings defense. So I'm expecting very similar usage between Mike Evans and AJ Brown. So uh, I'm gonna put my uh, I'm gonna take AJ Brown higher than uh tw uh, excuse me higher than 12.95 fantasy points this week versus the Vikings. And a, just a little bonus extra pick for you guys that I thought I would just toss in there. I do think DeAndre Swift's yards right now is set at 32 and a half right here, uh, higher or lower than 32 and a half. I think you'd have to take the higher. Last week Kenneth Gainwell just 14 carries had 50 plus yards rushing, uh, and that was in a game where it was kind of close between these two teams. So I think this is a game where. 
Vikings, or excuse me, the Eagles get up early, then they start to run the ball late in the second half. They run the ball a ton. So I think DeAndre Swift will go well over 32 and a half yards. I know they've there's been talk about kind of swapping two guys out here in the backfield, but I think DeAndre Swift's still a very talented back. I think he's the best one they actually have. They just he just isn't the starter. So I like I, I like DeAndre Swift to go over, or excuse me, higher than 32.5 rushing yards. It's also a little bonus pick for you guys. All right, so with that being said, we got the little recap here. We got the lock of the day is Alexander Madison, uh, lower than 50.5 rushing yards. Then give me A.J. Brown, higher than 12.95 fantasy points. As our two pick of the day, I'm going to put one unit on this one. I'm feeling this one a lot. I really like this one. Uh, so I'll put one unit on a little two pick here. Uh, with that being said, guys, I will catch you guys on Saturday. Peace.